Hello everybody, this is Alessandra. Welcome to my home, welcome to my kitchen. It's evening time, it's nice and quiet, and I want to make something special for tomorrow. And I'm going to be making Taraluci Pugliesi. It's a round little circle of deliciousness and crunchiness. It goes well in your bread basket, it's good mid-morning snack. It's really an amazing little, if you want to call it cookie, it's a Tarali Pugliese, it's from the Puglia region of Italy, which is the heel of the boot. Okay, let's get started. Simple ingredients, wonderful ingredients. I have right here three and three quarter cups of flour. I have half a cup of oil, three quarter cup of white wine. So you already know, look at the delicious combination of the ingredients. Now, the taralucci could have, we're definitely gonna put two teaspoons of salt, but there's different variations. Uh, you could have pepper tar taralucci, you could have chili, red chili pepper taralucci, or the most famous ones, the most famous ones are the ones with the fennel seeds. And I have about a tablespoon of fennel seeds. I am not going to make the red pepper flake taralucci because it's not one of our favorites. So I just wanted to show you that there could definitely be a variation. So I'm taking, taking it off the list. Okay, let's get started. In the KitchenAid with a hook attachment, there's not to be KitchenAid, whatever, stand up mixer. Also, this could be done by hand. But um, you know what? I'd rather just get it all mixed in the, in the mixer. It makes it definitely easier. Okay, the flour goes in. So it goes into, and I'm going to slowly start the mixer and st slowly start adding the oil. Okay, let's see. keep turning it. The oil got absorbed by the flour and the dough is nice and crumbly. I'm going to go ahead and add the tablespoon of the fennel in. And then slowly I'm going to also add the wine. With the help of a spatula, move the mixture from the side and towards the middle so it could get well incorporated. In the meantime, as this is mixing up, uh, fill up a six quart pot of water and put it on a stove because the tarali get twice cooked, once in the water and once in the oven. So get the water on, get the oven on, and uh, let, let it come together as a dough. Okay, now I'm going to move it out onto the table and finish working it. Okay, here it goes. Let's just let it come all together. <coughs> and believe me, after working this stall, you're not going to need any hand cream because the oil, the oil in it does take care of that. Okay, I got my workout now. Look. It's a beautiful panetto. Look how soft it is, and that's exactly how you want it. You see how it bounces back? That's exactly how it needs to be. Let it, let it, I like to let it rest. You know, even if, even though it doesn't have yeast, I always like to let my dough rest. I think that all the, the ingredients uh, uh, kind of talk to each other, say, let's make this, let's relax. We just put it through a beating, they need a little time together to just get well combined. So let it let it rest. I'll clean up and I'll be back and I'll show you what's next. Let's start taking, cutting the dough in small pieces because we're going to be making little logs. And let's get started. I find it so much better resting the dough. Okay, let's get. Don't be afraid if the, the dough tends to open up. Remember, it's not, it doesn't have eggs in it, so it's not an easy, easy dough to work with, but it's doable. Okay, then you cut like this and just close your circle, pinch it, and here you have a taralucho. Okay, it's just so wonderful to, to be rolling. Also, if the dough does, doesn't come together, don't be afraid to add a little bit of oil and just keep mixing till you get the right consistency that doesn't break apart. So it's an easy dough 
but uh, you need to have the right amount of flour and to the oil and to the wine. I guess more to the, the flour and the oil. Step two, the pot of water that's boiling. I have a cookie sheet with a kitchen towel on top and here are my little taraluchi that I made and I'm gonna start just putting them in the water and when they come up, they're ready to be moved out, out of the water onto the cookie sheet. Don't overcrowd them because you don't want the temperature to drop. So just keep adding them. And you see, they're almost ready to come up. I want to show you when one comes up. Make sure your flame is on high. There goes the first one. This baby is ready. Onto the cookie sheet. Yes. Final step, let's bake him. So I'm gonna just move him from the cloth here where we took him out of the water and onto a cookie sheet and into the oven. Now, I cannot tell you how long they need to bake and I'll tell you why. Because I never time anything. Since I literally live in a kitchen, so I just keep checking in the oven. So this time I'm gonna uh, give you an accurate time. So right before we put him in, we'll check on the time. Okay. Uh, let me just move them over into the oven and uh, then I'll meet you back. 45 minutes have passed. Let's open up the oven because I can smell. Oh, oh, wow, 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 wow. Take a look at this. Oh, see, they're nice and light and golden. They're just perfect. That I want you need to be nice and light. You can feel them in your hands that they're all nice and dried up inside. I'll open one up. I just want to put them all in the basket. Look how wonderful they look. Like I said before, they're wonderful in your bread basket. They're wonderful as a snack. They're wonderful with just a little glass of wine, a little cheese. Just or just plain like that mid-morning. Any time is a perfect time for a taranucho. Well. Now, oh, wait, I do want to show you inside the taranucci. You see that? It needs to be dry. And it is a flaky dough because of all the olive oil that's in it. And I know you cannot smell it. The house smells divine. Ah, before, you eat, before I eat something, especially salami, I always need to smell it because the aroma gets all the flavors going in me. Well... I'm gonna taste it. Mmm. Flaky, light, delicious. Please make them for your family, your friends. Everybody will love the Taraluchi. Take a look at that. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell, you can be notified. Lots of new recipes coming up. Uh, I live in the kitchen. I love, I love to cook and I love to share my recipes. Grazie. Arrivederci alla prossima. Ciao, ciao.